The illusion of disrespect, cognitive dissonance, and ego. In the vast realm of human psyche, where the ego treads lightly, cognitive dissonance lurks in shadowed corners, whispering tales of flawed perceptions. There's an old gritty bar in the heart of the city where souls have come to lament their unfulfilled dreams and the battles they've lost with their own minds. Imagine for a moment sitting there, nursing a drink, while the weight of life's contradictions pushes down on you like a heavy, wet blanket. You see, the human mind is a perplexing realm. We are the architects of our own mental prisons, and cognitive dissonance is one of its most formidable guards. McLeod, 2020. In the dim light of that bar, you might overhear someone lamenting about the disrespect they've felt, the manipulation they've endured. But dive deeper, past the bravado and facade, and you'll find a fragile ego struggling to reconcile two conflicting beliefs. Fessinger, 2012. The world sees them as equals, but their self-perception demands superiority. The clash is jarring. Now, there's truth in the notion that manipulation can twist our reactions, making us question our very feelings. But when someone claims disrespect because they were treated as an equal, the real culprit often isn't manipulation. It's their own internal battle with cognitive dissonance. Harmon Jones, 2019. This dissonance, this tension between what we believe and the reality presented to us, can lead to mental gymnastics of Olympic proportions. The need to resolve such conflicts, to find harmony in our beliefs, can lead us down paths of flawed reasoning. These mental conditions, while fascinating, often serve as cautionary tales for others. We become living testaments to the dangers of an unchecked ego and the perils of cognitive dissonance. Van Veen, Krug, School, and Carter, 2009. The human psyche is intricate, with the ego playing a pivotal role in shaping one's self-perception and the interactions with the world. Again, for those with a fragile ego, the challenge of reconciling conflicting beliefs can lead to profound cognitive dissonance. Fessinger, 2012. This internal tension is especially evident when perceived disrespect emerges from being treated as an equal. Let's discuss some real examples of cognitive dissonance through the lens of this phenomenon. Cognitive dissonance at work, the leadership paradox. Consider a manager with a fragile ego who prides himself on superiority. When a subordinate challenges his ideas with valid points, he or she might feel threatened, perceiving it as a direct affront to his authority. The dissonance between his or her need for dominance and the reality of the situation may lead them to downplay the employee's insight or convince themselves that the challenge was out of disrespect rather than a genuine contribution. Harmon and Jones, 2019. Business ethics through an ego lens. An executive with a fragile ego might pride themselves on their unique business strategies. However, when presented with a more sustainable option from a junior colleague, they might reject it, feeling their position threatened. They could rationalize their decision by focusing on unrelated drawbacks rather than acknowledging its merits. Team Dynamics and Ego Clashes In team settings, diverse opinions are inevitable. A member with a fragile ego might struggle when their ideas aren't universally accepted. Instead of embracing collaborative growth, they might perceive others' differing opinions as challenges to their self-worth. Ego and Work-Life Balance an individual with a fragile ego might derive their self-worth from professional achievements, pushing themselves to overwork. When colleagues leave on time or prioritize personal life, this individual might perceive it as a lack of commitment, struggling to reconcile their beliefs about work ethic with the actions of their peers. Navigating office politics with a fragile ego. Office politics can be a minefield for those with fragile egos. They might misinterpret neutral actions as targeted slights or see collaborations as challenges to their authority, leading to unnecessary conflicts. Growth sacrifices in the ego. Career growth often demands adaptability. However, an individual with a fragile ego might resist roles or tasks they perceive as, quote, beneath them, end quote, even if these offer growth opportunities. They might rationalize their choices by focusing on the perceived negatives, avoiding the dissonance of admitting their ego-driven decisions. 
Recognizing the interplay between a fragile ego and cognitive dissonance offers insights into understanding behavioral patterns and decision-making processes. By acknowledging these dynamics, individuals can work towards healthier self-perceptions and more harmonious interpersonal interactions. Cognitive Dissonance in Daily Life – The Fragile Ego's Struggle For individuals with a fragile ego, everyday life offers a myriad of situations that challenge their self-perception. As they navigate these challenges, cognitive dissonance often emerges, stemming from perceived slights or the feeling of being treated as an equal when their ego demands superiority. The Environmental Paradox Consider an individual with a fragile ego who prides themselves on being environmentally conscious. When they occasionally resort to single-use plastics, the dissonance between their self-perception and their actions might lead them to trivialize their contribution, convincing themselves that their singular actions don't significantly impact the larger environmental problem. This rationalization offers a defense mechanism against perceived judgment from peers who might see them as equals or even hypocritical. Simon Greenberg and Brem, 1995. Convenience versus Principle In our modern, fast-paced world, the fragile ego seeks validation and comfort. An individual might pride themselves on supporting local businesses, but opts for convenience by ordering from large online retailers. The internal conflict might result in rationalizations, such as believing that they're making a practical choice or convincing themselves that their singular purchase won't really harm the local economy, forgetting about the economy of scale. Health Choices and Self-Worth a person with a fragile ego might define their self-worth by adhering to strict health routines. Yet, indulging in unhealthy foods or skipping exercises can lead to dissonance. They might downplay these lapses as deserved treats or trivialize them as insignificant in the grand scheme, deflecting any potential judgment. Navigating Ethical Choices Life's moral and ethical dilemmas can be a minefield for the fragile ego, Purchasing from a company with questionable practices might be justified by focusing on personal needs, affordability, or downplaying the company's ethical breaches rather than facing the dissonance head-on. Financial Choices and Self-Perceptions A splurge, when one values saving, can be a point of dissonance. The fragile ego might cope by framing the purchase as a necessary luxury or convincing themselves of its long-term value, sidestepping the contradiction with their self-proclaimed financial prudence. Societal Pressures and Ego Defense At times, societal expectations and familial pressures can push individuals to act against their beliefs. Attending a conscientious event to avoid conflict might be rationalized as a, quote, one-time compromise, end quote, or focusing on the event's positive aspects, shielding the fragile ego from potential critiques. Understanding the interplay between a fragile ego and cognitive dissonance in daily life offers a lens into the complexities of human behavior. By acknowledging these intricacies, individuals can work towards a more genuine interaction and deeper understanding of their internal conflicts. Cognitive Dissonance and Friendships When Fragile Egos Take the Helm In the intricate dance of friendships, individuals with a fragile ego often find themselves in a constant tug-of-war between their need for validation and the reality of their actions. The dissonance that arises from these internal conflicts can manifest in various ways, complicating relationships and masking deeper issues. The Canceling Conundrum Imagine a friend with a fragile ego who frequently backs out of plans. On the surface, it might seem like a commitment issue, but dig deeper and the fear of being betrayed as, quote, ordinary or, quote, just another friend might emerge. Buying self-help books like The Art of Saying No offers them an out, allowing them to believe they're addressing the issue. In reality, it might be a shield against confronting their need for constant validation or fear of being seen as equal to others. Simon and Others, 1995. Rebranding Flaws as Strengths Cognitive dissonance can lead such individuals to redefine their inconsistencies. A friend who is often unreliable might start branding themselves as unpredictable or mysterious, transforming perceived weaknesses into unique traits that set them apart from the ordinary. Dodging the Deep Dive Confronting one's own flaws can be a daunting task, especially for those with a fragile ego. A friend who often overshadows conversations might dismiss their behaviors as passion or enthusiasm. By reframing their dominating nature as mere excitement, 
they sidestep the dissonance they feel over not giving others an equal platform. Shifting blame and values. When faced with criticism or feedback, individuals with fragile egos might shift their values temporarily to avoid facing dissonance. A friend criticized for being judgmental might suddenly adopt a live and let learn mantra only to revert back once the spotlight is off them. Seeking external validation. The opinions of others can serve as a double-edged sword. If a group validates an individual's flawed behavior, it can bolster their fragile ego, further embedding their beliefs. On the other hand, criticism might be dismissed as jealousy or misunderstanding, preserving their self-image. The Facade of Harmony To avoid confronting dissonance, individuals may resort to avoidance tactics. This can be manifested as ghosting, superficial interactions, or even feigning agreement, all to maintain an illusion of a harmonious relationship. Understanding the nuances of cognitive dissonance in friendships, especially when fragile egos are involved, provides a lens into the complexities of human behavior. Recognizing these dynamics and addressing them directly can pave the way for deeper, more genuine connections built on mutual understanding and respect. Cognitive Dissonance in Romantic Relationships the fragile ego's battle for superiority. Romantic relationships, with their intricate tapestry of emotions and vulnerabilities, often become a battleground for the fragile ego. For those struggling with their self-worth, the reality of being treated as an equal by their partner can spark cognitive dissonance, leading them to contort reality to maintain their self-image. The Mirage of Exceptionality For someone with a fragile ego, the idea of an ideal relationship often aligns with their need to be seen as exceptional. When the relationship reveals its natural flaws, they might resort to comparing it to unrealistic standards of perfection. Convincing themselves that no relationship is without its quirks allows them to sidestep confronting their need for constant validation. Harmon Jones, 2004. Distorting the investment. The emotional and time investment in a relationship can be twisted by the fragile ego as a testament to their unique bond. Overlooking significant issues becomes a defense mechanism, believing that the years and memories shared are proof of a relationship unlike any other. Redefining Boundaries In the world of the fragile ego, equality can be misconstrued as a challenge to their superiority. Acts that promote mutual respect or equality might be misinterpreted as threats, leading them to label caring actions as controlling or moments of independence as distance. The External Image the validation from external sources, like friends or social media, becomes a lifeline for those with fragile egos. Maintaining the facade of a dream couple can overshadow the reality of the relationship, further embedding them in a web of denial and projection. Loneliness versus superiority. While fear of loneliness is a universal concern, for some with a fragile ego, it's more about the dread of not being chosen or seen as worthy. The dissonance between wanting a partner who sees them as exceptional and the reality of being treated as an equal can push them to believe that any acknowledgement, even if problematic, is better than none. Selective Perception A fragile ego can lead to selective perception in relationships. By hyper-focusing on moments when they felt revered or prioritized, or on the flip side, hyper-focusing on moments when they felt disrespected or attacked, they create a skewed narrative that shields them from the broader dynamics of mutual respect and equality. Harmon Jones, 2004 by understanding the complex interplay of fragile egos and cognitive dissonance in romantic relationships, individuals can better navigate their emotional landscapes. Recognizing these patterns is the first step towards cultivating relationships grounded in mutual respect, understanding, and genuine connection. Trivialization, the fragile ego's dance with cognitive dissonance. For those with fragile egos, the sting of cognitive dissonance can be particularly acute the internal turmoil between their self-perception and reality often leads to a reliance on trivialization as a coping mechanism. By downplaying or minimizing conflicting actions or beliefs, they can shield their fragile self-image from further damage. The Seduction of Self-Help The self-help industry, with its myriad of solutions, promises relief from almost every conceivable issue. To someone battling a fragile ego, these resources can seem like a lifeline, offering momentary respite from their internal struggles. But more often than not, these solutions merely skim the surface. A person might delve into a guide on boundary setting, 
not realizing that their real challenge is rooted in a deeply ingrained fear of rejection or confrontation. By latching onto these superficial solutions, they avoid the more profound introspection that might reveal cracks in their self-image. Simon and Others, 1995. Evasive Redefinition Individuals with fragile egos might resort to redefining their action to present them in a more favorable light. Someone who constantly seeks validation but fails to receive it might convince themselves that they're just too advanced for others to understand. Deflection through external blame. When faced with the consequences of their actions, it's not uncommon for such individuals to shift blame onto external factors. A team member who doesn't contribute might argue that the team's dynamics of the project's scope was the real issue rather than their own lack of input. Relativistic minimization. Comparing oneself to others, especially those perceived as more flawed, can offer a temporary ego boost. An individual who frequently interrupts others might dismiss their behavior by claiming they're just more forward than their quieter colleague. Outcome rationalization. By reinterpreting the results of their actions, individuals can maintain a positive self-view. A person passed over for a job might convince themselves that the role wouldn't have showcased their unique talents anyway. Linguistic Gymnastics The fragile ego often finds solace in semantics. By rephrasing or relabeling actions, they can lessen the perceived impact. Referring to a pattern of avoiding challenges as choosing one's battles wisely can transform avoidance into a strategic move. Recognizing the intricate ways in which individuals with fragile egos engage in trivialization can offer insights into their internal battles. While trivialization can provide temporary relief, it often masks deeper issues that, when addressed, can lead to genuine self-growth and a more authentic existence. Narcissism and Cognitive Dissonance The Fragile Ego's Desperate Defense We'd be amiss if we didn't discuss the proverbial elephant in the room here. For individuals with narcissistic tendencies, the world often revolves around their self-image. However, this self-image is frequently built on shaky ground, characterized by a deep-seated fragility. When confronted with realities that challenge this image, the resulting cognitive dissonance can be overwhelming. To navigate this internal conflict, they employ a range of defense mechanisms, each designed to protect their fragile ego from the harsh light of truth. Gosling and others, 2006. Deflection through projection. A classic tool in the narcissist's arsenal, projection, allows them to deflect their insecurities and flaws onto others. In the face of cognitive dissonance, rather than acknowledging their shortcomings, they might accuse others of the very behaviors they exhibit. For instance, if they are struggling with feelings of envy, they might accuse a partner of being envious, thereby externalizing the issue and preserving their self-image. Reality Denial Faced with undeniable evidence that challenges their self-perception, the fragile ego's immediate response might be outright denial. This isn't merely ignoring the issue, but actively rejecting the reality, creating a protective bubble where their self-image remains untarnished. Manipulative Gaslighting One of the more insidious tactics, gaslighting, involves manipulating others into doubting their perceptions and memories. By creating an environment where they dictate reality, the narcissistic individual can sidestep the discomfort of cognitive dissonance, ensuring their narrative remains unchallenged. Grandiose Distractions When under threat, the fragile ego might resort to showcasing their supposed superiority, talents, or achievements. This grandiosity serves a dual purpose. It diverts attention from the challenging issues and reinforces their inflated self-worth. Evading Responsibility At the heart of many narcissistic behaviors is an aversion to accountability. When their actions lead to negative outcomes, rather than confronting and accepting responsibility, they might minimize the issue, shift blame, or concoct alternative narratives where they remain faultless. The Validation Hunt to counteract the internal turmoil of cognitive dissonance, those with narcissistic tendencies might surround themselves with individuals who offer constant validation and admiration. This echo chamber reinforces their beliefs and shields them from external challenges. For those entangled in the web of a narcissist, understanding these defense mechanisms is crucial. While penetrating the barriers they erect can be daunting, recognizing the underlying dynamics offers clarity and insight into their behaviors enabling more informed interactions. 
The Fragile Ego in the Brain, Neural Mechanisms of Cognitive Dissonance. Cognitive dissonance, the mental discomfort that arises when an individual's beliefs or attitudes conflict with their actions, is not just a conceptual psychological phenomenon. It has concrete physiological manifestations within the brain. For individuals with fragile egos, this discomfort is amplified, often leading to extreme mental gymnastics to reconcile conflicting beliefs. Van Veen and others, 2009. Brain Regions in Spotlight The study by Van Veen and others in 2009 emphasized the role of the anterior cingulate cortex, or ACC, and the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex in the experience of cognitive dissonance. These regions are associated with conflict detection and resolution, respectively. When an individual faces a contradiction between their actions and beliefs, the anterior cingulate cortex detects this incongruence, signaling the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex to resolve the inconsistency. The Fragile Ego's Response For those with fragile self-esteem or narcissistic tendencies, these neural signals can be especially pronounced. Their brain might work overtime, grappling with the internal conflict and seeking ways to restore a sense of equilibrium. This intense neural activity could lead to more pronounced attitude changes or stronger rationalizations to reconcile the dissonance. From Neural Activity to Attitude Change Van Veen and colleagues found that the level of neural activity in the ACC and DLPFC could predict subsequent attitude changes in participants. This means that the more significant the brain's response to the dissonance, the more likely the individual would alter their beliefs or attitudes to reduce the conflict. Implications for the Fragile Ego Given their heightened sensitivity to challenges to their self-image, individuals with fragile egos might exhibit more robust neural responses to cognitive dissonance. This could lead them to go to greater lengths to resolve the conflict, whether through denial, projection, or other defense mechanisms. It's important to remember that understanding the neural underpinnings of cognitive dissonance provides a holistic view of this complex phenomenon. It's not just a mental or emotional experience, it's deeply rooted in the brain's intricate networks. For individuals with fragile egos, this neural dance is particularly intense, reflecting their ongoing battle to maintain a cohesive self-image in the face of challenging realities. The Mirror Effect – Projecting One's Toxicity A twist in the narrative of cognitive dissonance can emerge when individuals, unable or unwilling to face their own problematic behaviors, project these issues onto their partner. In some cases, a person might harbor toxic traits, but instead of acknowledging and addressing them, they might develop a skewed perception where they paint their partner as the toxic one. This projection can be a defense mechanism to protect their self-image and reduce the internal conflict they feel about their own behavior. For example, a person who struggles with jealousy might constantly accuse their partner of being unfaithful without cause. In reality, their own insecurities and trust issues are the root of the problem. Yep. By convincing themselves that their partner is untrustworthy, they redirect the blame, thereby alleviating the dissonance they feel over their unwarranted jealousy. Another example is a partner who craves being in the spotlight, accusing their partner of the same. For instance, a partner who always seeks attention might become upset when their significant other receives praise or acknowledgement, or if their partner does something inadvertently that embarrasses them in front of others. They might accuse their partner of trying to overshadow them or seeking validation from others intentionally. In reality, their own need for constant affirmation and fear of being upstaged are the underlying issues. Yet, by convincing themselves that their partner is intentionally trying to steal the limelight, they redirect the blame, thereby alleviating the dissonance they feel over their excessive need for attention. This redirection can have devastating effects on relationships. It not only causes undue stress and strain on the accused partner, but can also lead to the end of the relationship. The person projecting their issues might decide to bail out of the relationship, believing they're escaping a toxic partner when, in reality, they're running from their own shadows. Such behavior can also be compounded by confirmation bias. Once they've labeled their partner as the, quote, problem, they might selectively focus on any minor flaw or mistake their partner makes, using it as evidence to support their skewed narrative. Over time, this can create a chasm of misunderstanding and resentment in the relationship. Confronting one's own negative traits and behaviors requires a significant amount of self-awareness and humility. It's easier in the short term to blame others than to embark on the challenging journey of self-improvement. Over time, this avoidance can lead to an internal dissonance where the individual feels trapped between their projected self-image and the reality they might be unwilling to face. The emotional weight of this dissonance can be overwhelming, 
leading to further isolation and denial. Without reflection and acknowledgement, the cycle is highly likely to repeat in future relationships. In the worst cases, the person actually attracts individuals reflective of their true nature, creating a toxic downward cycle. Alternatively, they might avoid relationships altogether rather than work on themselves, convincing themselves that others are the problem and they simply can't find a good match. Such a mindset not only deprives them of meaningful connections, but also perpetuates a life of unfulfilled potential and inner turmoil. Identifying Cognitive Dissonance in Ourselves Cognitive dissonance can manifest in subtle ways, making it challenging to recognize, especially when it pertains to our own beliefs and behaviors. However, by being attuned to specific signs and introspective practices, we can better identify and address this psychological phenomenon within ourselves. Emotional discomfort. The primary sign of cognitive dissonance is a feeling of unease or discomfort when confronted with information or situations that challenge our beliefs or behaviors. If we find ourselves feeling unusually defensive, anxious, or even guilty about a particular stance or action, it might be worth examining more closely. Rationalizing behaviors. Do we often find ourselves justifying actions that don't align with our values? If we're making excuses or minimizing the significance of certain behaviors, it's a clear sign of cognitive dissonance. Avoidance tactics. Actively avoiding topics, conversations, or situations that challenge our views indicates an underlying dissonance. Whether it's changing the subject or avoiding certain people, this evasive behavior can be a defense mechanism. Selective memory. Cognitive dissonance can lead to memory biases. If we find ourselves only recalling information so that aligns with our beliefs or conveniently forgetting facts that challenge them, we might be experiencing dissonance.